Are you appreciating the contrast that helps you to focus your desire into being? That's the most significant question. And we are sad that you lied just now, but <laughs> we are never sad, <laughs> but you did lie. But that is a very good goal for you to come to the place where you are enjoying the variety for the choices that it helps to formulate within you. It's a really good thing when you realize that you are the creator of your own reality and that the reality that you are creating is born within you first, the first step of it in variety or contrast. The word variety sounds better to you than the word contrast, doesn't it? Variety, a plethora of delightful things from which I can choose. But contrast is also that plethora of delightful things from which you can choose. Because you would not know what you wanted if you did not know what you do not want. It really is that simple. You just don't need to get so carried away in the holding yourself apart from it that your desire mm, moves into that stronger place of fretful yearning. We like your desire to feel fresh. We like you to feel eager about it. We like you to know that the creation of a button or a castle is equal in this vibrational universe in which we are all living. It's just a matter of focus. So when you get it, that you are the focuser of your reality into beingness and that part of that focus is choice and part of that choice is contrast or variety. When you come to realize that just like when you are at your food buffet, where no one is forcing things onto your plate, no one is making you choose specific things. You're just choosing because life has shown you what you prefer. And so that is the way we see this contrast that you're started to say engulfed in, but that sounds like it's a little bit oppressive. And sometimes you feel oppressed by the variety, but the better you get at focusing, the less oppressive the variety will feel because you can focus your variety into piles of really delightful, sort of delightful, and only delightful. In other words, you do not have to run the gamut of horrible to wonderful. Your choices will clarify the more you focus in the direction of what is wanted. So if you have a broad range of contrast, we haven't talked to you about this before, not in this way. If you have a really broad range of contrast, like things are going really good and then things are going really bad, or you are feeling really wonderful and then you are feeling really awful, your doctors want to call that something that we won't give a label to. <laughs> but when you're up and down and up and down and up and down, that just means you're sort of, no, that means you're really sloppy in your focus. It means that you're letting whatever's around get your attention. So you're practicing a lot of vibrations and because you are practicing a lot of vibrations of wanted and unwanted, you have active within you a lot of different vibrations on a lot of different subjects. And so anytime you have an active vibration, then your point of attraction includes that active vibration. So you get some of that and 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 that and that and that and that. But as you get better and better at caring about how you feel and reaching for more and more thoughts that feel better and better to you, so we call deliberate creation, deliberately focusing rather than focusing by default, deliberately focusing on more and more things that feel better so that you're practicing that vibration that feels good longer, steadier, so that the vibration within you does not have such a broad range. Now, law of attraction brings you the contrast within that range. Ooh, don't you like knowing that? Law of attraction is always bringing you the contrast within the range that you've been practicing. So what have you been practicing? Well, the best way to ask yourself that is, how have you been feeling? Pretty good. Well, then your range is that. We get 
how when you see someone living something that you want to live that you aren't living that you would feel uncomfortable because you're looking at the opposite of what you want you're looking at the lack of what you want but we want you to understand that it does not matter where you stand you can today begin cleaning up your vibration you can today begin feeling a little better and as you feel a little better and feel a little better and feel a little better that's your indicator that you are cleaning up your vibration and by that we mean you're not introducing so many of the I know what I don't want to the equation it's more I like that I prefer that we want you to remember that you are vibrational beings. you are physical and you live in a physical world and so you are accustomed to seeing the things that are physical in nature and calling it your reality and we call it your reality too but there is a vibrational reality that is at the basis of all of the tangible manifested realized reality and that reality is the reality that we want you to begin to give your attention to because if you can get out ahead of the manifestation by focusing upon the vibration that is the precursor to all manifestation now not only will you have a more joyful romp through life experience but you will have more deliberate control of what does manifest now we're really not too excited about helping you control your manifestations in the sense that we really don't want you to measure them and catalog them and pigeonhole them and try to understand your world from the framework of the manifestations. It's what almost everybody you know is doing. You're comparing your stuff to each other. And while that is certainly a natural process, it slows you way, 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 way down. If you were making one comparison and one comparison only, and that is the vivid all day, really easy to discern comparison between what your vibrational frequency is right now, this red hot minute, given the attention that you're given to whatever you're giving your attention to follow that. Whatever you're looking at is causing you to offer a vibration and the source within you. That's where we come in is looking at the same thing right now from our perspective or our opinion. And so source has an opinion about what you have an opinion about. And if the opinion that source has about what you have the opinion about meshes, matches, merges, harmonizes, if it's the same, in other words, if you're looking at somebody and you're loving them, your opinion matches. You don't walk around feeling less than love. You walk around thinking thoughts that give you the feeling of less than love. You don't think I'm going to not love you. You think I don't like what you just did or I don't like what you just said. You focus negatively in an attitude of trying to push away from you something unwanted. And when you do that, you do something different than the source within you is doing right here, right now about the same subject. And so the feeling of I don't love you, the feeling of absence of love is the feeling you get when you diverge, when you depart, when you contradict the opinion that the larger part of you holds. Now, how does that settle with you Does it make you feel funny that there's someone with such an opinion about what you've got going on? We're in your business. <laughs> We're in your business because we are your business. We are the product of what you've been synthesizing. We are the sum total of all that you've lived. We stand as the vibrational equivalent of what you've come to. So you cannot separate yourself from us, but you can introduce enough resistance between that which is you and that which is us that you can make yourself feel bad. And then you blame it on everything else. You blame it on that guy. You blame it on that other thing that happened. You blame it on some circumstance or some event. And we want you instead to take credit for every emotion that you feel because every emotion that you feel is the simple byproduct or indicator of your frequency as it relates to the total frequency of who you are. So there is you that is non-physical and there's you that is physical and there is a vibrational relationship between the two. So here you are in your leading edge physical experience, exploring the variety, knowing what you don't want and therefore knowing what you do want. And every time you have any kind of an experience that causes you to have any kind of an opinion, which is happening at all levels of your being, even cellular level, you are launching rockets of desire, even at a cellular level. And those rockets of desire, they are precursors. They are vibrational rockets. They are vibrational projections of thought. They are vibrational 
rockets that are actually vibrating that have a strong point of attraction and when you launch one of those we ride it we become it we understand it we blend it with everything else that you have become